Anime today is so mainstream, with new shows and movies coming out every month. But do you remember these 10 retro anime movies from the 80s and 90s? Here are our top 10 favorite anime movies made before the year 2000. Number 10. Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland Little Nemo Adventures in Slumberland is a movie about a young boy who journeys to Slumberland and after being handed a golden key, accidentally unleashes the nightmare upon Slumberland. The movie is based on an American comic strip, Little Nemo, and was animated by Tokyo Movie Shinsa with collaboration from both Japanese and American production companies. Many of those who dip their feet into this movie include staff from Disney, George Lucas, and Studio Ghibli. Unfortunately, the movie ended up bombing at the box office with a production budget of $35 million in 1989. It only made $11.4 million, but the movie did end up selling decently on home video and to this day has a cult following. Number 9. Jungle Emperor Leo Focusing on the last half of Osamu Tezuka's manga, Jungle Taite, known in the States as Kimba the White Lion, the 1997 Jungle Emperor Leo movie is about Leo's son Loon venturing out and seeing the human world, while at the same time a disease in the jungle is taking many animals' lives and Jungle Emperor Leo teams up with a human to save the jungle. Be prepared to get a little teary-eyed towards the end though. The movie was released in Japan in August 1997. Number 8. The Dog of Flanders Be sure to keep your tissues handy when watching this film, because the emotions can be heavy. The Dog of Flanders is based on an 1872 novel of the same name. It was made into a 52-episode anime back in 1975, and then later released as a movie in 1997. This film is about a poor farm boy named Nello, a very talented artist who lives with his grandpa and his faithful dog Patrash. This story goes through a lot of hardships that poor Nello endures, from someone trying to take away Patrash to having his best friend Eloa ripped away because he is poor and her father doesn't want her to associate with him. The movie was released in theaters in March 1997 and released on VHS in 1999. Number 7. Whisper of the Heart A little slice of life and a lot of country roads with 1995's Whisper of the Heart. In this film, we take a look at the life of Shizuku Tsukishima, a junior high school girl who loves to read books. And curiously, there's a boy who happens to read all the same books she does. There's a cat that rides the train, and a cat that wears a suit, and a bit of junior high drama. This film is sure to delight all of you slice of life lovers out there. Produced by Studio Ghibli, this film was released in Japan in July 1995. Number 6. My Neighbor Totoro Hayao Miyazaki's My Neighbor Totoro takes place in 1950s Japan when Professor Tatsuo Kusakabe and his two daughters, Satsuki and Mei, move into an old house in the country. In their new neighborhood, Mei and Satsuki befriend a forest spirit whom they call Totoro. This film is a light-hearted story full of childhood imagination and adorable characters. My Neighbor Totoro came out in Japan on April 16, 1988. Number 5. Castle in the Sky the first film produced by Studio Ghibli with Hayao Miyazaki. Castle in the Sky is a story about a boy named Pazu who catches a girl floating down from the sky. Turns out this girl named Shita has a crystal that is the key to finding a floating lost city in the sky. The story takes us through a cat and mouse chase with Shita and Pazu running from multiple people who are after the crystal. This film first came out in Japan on August 2nd, 1986. Number 4. Grave of the Fireflies Released in April 1988, Grave of the Fireflies is possibly one of the saddest anime movies widely available. This film takes us into the lives of siblings Seita and Setsuko in 1945 during World War II, after their home is destroyed in a fire. They are sent to live with a distant aunt where they aren't treated in the best manner. Seita makes the decision to take Setsuko and to try to make it on their own, making the fireflies as their only source of light at night. Even though the film came out in 1988, it is still remembered to this day, and in 2005, a live-action TV film was produced by Nippon TV in commemoration of the 60th anniversary of World War II. Number 3. Princess Mononoke 
This Hayao Miyazaki film is different than others with a lot more violence and some dramatic scenes. But putting that aside, the story is as fascinating as can be. In Princess Mononoke, Prince Ashitaka is cursed by an enraged demon. He must journey to the west and look for the forest spirit to ask if he can cure him of the curse that is taking over his body. Along the way, he meets the people at Iron Town who make firearms and bullets, and the wolf princess of the forest who is trying to destroy the town. Princess Mononoke is one of those enticing films with a perfect story that keeps you glued to the screen. The film was released in Japan in July of 1997. Number 2. Perfect Blue Perfect Blue is a psychological thriller anime released in August 1997. In this movie, Mima Kirigoe is retiring from the J-pop idol group Cham to become an actress. This news makes an obsessive fan upset to where he stalks Mima, she gets a phone call from no one, nearly gets exploded by a bomb, and a weird website called Mima's Room has some strange entries about Mima's personal life. The lines between what's real and what's in her mind start to get a little blurred, and people that Mima has worked with start to get murdered. This is one of those films that has a twist at the end, so we don't want to give it away if you haven't seen it yet. All we can say is that this film is highly recommended. Before we get to our number one pick, here's a few honorable mentions that we don't want to leave out. 1983's Barefoot Gen. Viewer discretion is advised on this one, as there are some terrifying World War II imagery and a lot of emotions. Hayao Miyazaki's timeless classic about a young witch in 1989's Kiki's Delivery Service. 1988's Akira, one of the best cyberpunk science fiction anime movies out there. Even though it's just an honorable mention here, be sure to check out our 80s sci-fi list because it did make it onto that one. Number 1. Ghost in the Shell Regarded as one of the best sci-fi anime of all time and the inspiration behind the Matrix movies, Ghost in the Shell is set in 2029 Japan following the main protagonist Motoko Kusanagi, who is a cyborg public security agent hunting down a cyber criminal hacker known as the Puppet Master. Ghost in the Shell initially bombed at the box office in 1995, but after its release on home video, it developed a cult following, which is popular still to this day, with a revival of the anime movie in 2008 with Ghost in the Shell 2.0 and a live-action movie in 2017 starring Scarlett Johansson, which received mixed reviews, showing that there is really no replacing the original. Let us know if you have any other retro anime movie recommendations that we may have missed, or just chime in about your favorites in the comments below. Feel free to check out our other retro movie list for some more hits of nostalgia, and click that like and subscribe button on the way there. Until next time, here on Retro Needy.